All right, welcome back to another episode of Watch and Shoes. The shoes are the uh, Polo um, Donovans. They got the camouflage. I put in the red laces, so you got the nice red, black, and green on it. And the watch is also red, black, and green. Uh, Invicta. Um, 48 millimeter, non-functioning bezel. It's got rubies in the hour markers, diamonds in the bezel. Uh, customized band. It was a blacked out watch, but I wanted the red, black, and green theme. And uh, pretty cool setup. Um, it's got the chrono feature. Um, real cool thing I like about this watch is how that second hand is uh, movement uh, moves. Not the major second hand that's actually part of the chrono feature but the second hand is the uh at the three o'clock hour and it's like a gear i don't know if it's gonna let me focus that close but it's a gear and uh they just put a dot on a gear and have the gear rolling around for the second hand i think that's pretty cool all right now this is a polo challenge of some sort I've been seeing a lot of polo uh, advertising going on, and I've been scratching my head, not realizing that polo collectors existed. And after a few hours of YouTubing, I said, um, let me see if I can put together a video on polo garments. Um, some of these are relatively recent, like the socks, and some of these go way back uh, a lot of years, like over five years. Maybe even longer than that. Actually, I don't re remember when I bought them or the circumstances where I bought them. But um, this flannel, I know, is a recent purchase. I wanted a black shirt like this one, and then I didn't know they actually made one like white. Since only time I'll be wearing that is winter, I said, okay, that'll work, white. Um, but uh, let's try to run through this. I'm going to try to go through as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't want this to be a 30-minute video. But... Um, yeah, let's see here. Uh, I started pulling out pieces, and I said, I'm not a collector, but I do have a lot of pieces. And it actually surprised me how many pieces I had that were from Polo or Branch Polo. All right, so let's start with this uh, big puffy uh, RLX downfield jacket. Nothing too much going on here. It's just a very, very puffy, very, very warm. Um, you can see the feathers, the down and through it. It's very light material. Um, but durable. It's ho this is probably the third year I've had this. Um, it held up real nicely. I think you can see in here. It's going to say something about it being a uh, nylon. I have the other jacket that this was in is also nylon and uh, downfield. I see 76% down duvet and all that good stuff. So it just surrounds you and uh real 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 hot feathers pretty cool jacket um sleeves snug so rlx stands for like for me it was a uh, very very uh sport specific uh activity specific brand this is a book bag money bag throw it in the bag type of bag i used to walk around when I used to like to walk around with big money. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so nothing really big going on here. Kind of the same material, same setup as the uh, jacket. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure these are not down feathers. I'm positive there's no down feathers in there. But uh, kind of has the same uh, feel to it. Waterproof seals going around both. So clearly you can uh, run through the rain, which is RLX to me. It's very um, activity specific uh, section of polo. Very sad to see it go. I know a lot of people consider RLX to be just bright colors. It's kind of uh, really threw a lot of people off. But um, if you get beyond the bright colors, they were really uh, well made things. This nylon strap is not, it'll probably last 100 years. <laughs> you can see the thickness on it. It's outrageously well made. Really, really dense padding for your shoulder strap. 
there's no way for me to really show that but it's extremely dense like hard to press in but spongy and it's probably the bulk of the weight of the bag it's very dense very well made very durable um, down let's go to this jacket and get this off of the i already made a video about this jacket feel free to scroll down and check out some uh, previous video this is a rlx ralph lauren it's got the huge pocket which the entire bag or the entire jacket folds into uh you can pull turn this whole jacket into a small duffel bag you just fold the whole jacket into this pocket you can either carry it like that or you can carry it over the shoulder the whole bag or the whole uh, jacket um i think i pretty much covered everything on this jacket in the previous video uh, very very versatile jacket the hoodie comes off um every aspect that you see on a jacket has functions and things that um can be adjusted like this is an extremely old jacket though has gone through some wars i took this jacket through um to uh, fairbanks alaska kind of along the theme of activity focused gear and, and that's pretty much what they were doing at uh rlx when i became a fan of rlx uh every aspect of this jacket even this button buttons into this button so no wind so when you put your hand in your pocket no wind can actually uh penetrate <laughs> oh sorry so those buttons go together when your hand is in your pockets i mean it's just like really well thought out jacket uh it's two straps you can pull it tight at the it's it's a, the length of a trench coat so you can pull it tight around your thighs and pull it tight around your waist uh there's the waistband um just every aspect of this jacket is dope to me because they really were serious about making something very portable and something very 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 warm so basically you encase your body in a downfield uh, bunch of feathers feathers and nylon uh, turns out to be a really really good uh, setup there I don't know if they tell you on here yeah, and they tell you they're 85% or 80% duvet. So, yeah, just a bunch of feathers and a bunch of nylon. And it turned out to be very, very useful just north of the North Pole. <laughs> um, let's see here. The sock. Get this out the way. Just like this pattern. This is my favorite pattern in all of uh, polo. That um, I think someone called it a tartan. I think Dave Money calls it a tartan pattern. I could be wrong on that, but either way, this is my favorite uh, pattern, polo, and then uh, polo bear just caught on with me uh, recently. I wasn't really aware that this existed, a polo bear, but I I got a I got a District Eight bear, and then I was looking for something to match it. I walked into a polo store, and I'll show you the polo bear that I got to match that District Eight shirt. And I also got District 8 pants with a bear on it. But it's Negro League. Uh, and, of course, polo is just polo. <laughs> um, okay, so shorts. I have three pair of shorts here. These shorts are my favorite because they're they're just bizarre like myself. When's the last time you buttoned and zipped your, your pants pocket, shorts pocket? The thing I like a lot about polo and or rlx or ralph lauren is the attention to detail on their zippers usually they're really really bulky thick zippers which i really like so this pants material is made out of nothing very very lightweight you got the zipper pockets like back in the day when we had uh the uh zipper craze parachute pants basically the same material and then reinforced with a whole lot of stitching i'm a real big fan of stitching They've got the real big, oversized um, buttons here, our legs on there, and then the uh, big oversized zipper. So this white on chrome, aluminum, nickel, whatever you want to call it, it just really pops. Really like the use of nylon. That's not going anywhere. Very, very durable material. 
um, pockets with holes in it, just function specific, task specific, very task oriented, built with intent type of uh, line. So I really, really was sad to hear that they were going to chill on the RLX. I hope they come back with a vengeance with that because uh, that was a pretty cool aspect of uh, my polo uh, crave, I guess. Really, it was an RLX crave. Just so much style. Check out how they did the uh, the belt loops for that. With the RLX on there. And then really, really reinforced the butt area where you're going to be sitting down and, uh, and or walking back and forth. Switch, 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 switch. And that would be the first to go on a lot of my clothes. Also have pool tight uh, tassel. Um, just really, really cool. You can put your little uh, clamp in there, uh, mountain hiking little uh, clamp thing, and uh, hold extra weight. Just a really, really function focused garment. Really, uh, really like that. Not gonna be able to fix that watch. Let's see here. Okay, so the next one is the um, Polo Golf. These are golf shorts. Sorry about the wrinkles in this stuff. I put this stuff in my car to come over here and make this video. And last night when I was ready to grab this stuff out the, the car, uh, it was pouring raining. So I said, okay, it's going to be in the car overnight and I'm going to be making some very wrinkled video. <laughs> because I wasn't going to pull all this clothes out in the rain. And I mean torrential rain. So that's what happened with the wrinkles. Um, anyway, so this one is uh, Polo Golf. I do like that pattern. I prefer the black focus. But as you can see, some of the focus is red, some of the focus is white, and then on the socks you saw the focus was black. So this one's nothing too much going on here. Um, primary reason for getting this garment was the color. I really like yellow because yellow is often overlooked in wardrobes. So my yellow is pretty strong in my wardrobe. Actually gonna throw up a shoe video right after this one and it's going to be yellow shoes <laughs> which is not going to be my first pair of yellow shoes all right there's these are linen shorts um just trying to stay cool on some of these vacation trips to some of these exotic uh destinations i think i wore these in panama i wore them out in panama <laughs> uh, i wore a lot of linen in panama uh, they had some beautiful beaches there and uh Nothing too much to brag about. I think the focus here was just the fact that it's linen. Very well made. Made with like a, a nice pair of pants. All right. Look at that. Done with the shorts. Let's move to the pants real quick. Here's another interesting set of pants. Uh, what is this made out of? I don't know. I believe it is cotton because I, I worked really hard to find a shirt to match this. Never did. Um, but the focus of, of uh, attention to detail that they have are... RL buttons. This is not an RLX garment. It's a Ralph Lauren garment. So um, missing the X on it, but still a very cool set of. Uh, it's very stylish. They're really chromed out, polished out. Maybe even silver uh, buttons. I mean a zipper. That's the pants pocket. There's a lower pocket instead of a zipper. They went with a button. Again, attention to detail. I mean, really polished. These things are eight years old, possibly, or possibly longer. And they still shine like I get them polished. I've never had these things polished. This is really well made. Um, put something in here. It's a little flashlight. Utility pants. I wear these pants to uh, a ball. <laughs> I mean, I wear these pants really anywhere. Nightclubs are very nice places because it's very nicely done. The extra, extra, extra stitching to ensure these things stand. I mean, these are the type of pants that you can hand down to your grandkids. They're not going anywhere because they're very well made. And then they threw a zipper on the very lower half of the pants. A pocket, I mean. A pocket with a zipper. Beautiful quality. You'd think this would have rusted in, in washes and or in the rain. I've been wearing these all over the world. Um, no rust, so I don't know if that's white, gold, platinum, what they used, but uh, it's really held up very nicely. 
Um, these are actually a, t a tight pair of pants. They're not um, extremely tight, but they're snug. Especially eight years ago or ten years ago when I bought it and loose baggy things were still in. So when you're feeling like I need to breathe, you got this huge zipper that goes almost up your calf to uh, give you some extra room. Really, really cool set of pants. Reverse side is basically the same thing. Yeah, they're pretty much identical. They have this extra button here if you want to tighten it up. Or you can button it and hook something on there and not have to carry it. Reverse. It's just white. White. Cool set of pants. Looks like this uh, video is going to be a long one. <laughs> but okay. Um, chrome on each of the... Um, Buck, buckle loops Ralph Lauren on the inside I think that does it 60% uh, cotton and then 40% poly made machine wash don't even have to dry clean it I don't know what poly made is but I do know it has a beautiful feel it just feels like an expensive material so um, it doesn't really feel like cotton, it doesn't feel like linen, it doesn't feel like anything. And, and then I wanted a shirt to match it and I could never find one. Because I, the, the color, no problem, but the, the feel, uh, impossible. It's just clearly not the same material. Okay, so some of these pants have this, which I do like. Um, because when you eat, you can let it out some. Some of y'all might have truck driver bellies like myself. Um, this is... Ralph Lauren. Also, like past pair of pants, it has a uh, this little latch system. Um, it's got the extra button there. Also, attention to detail with the RL on the zipper. Most. That's about it for that one. Cool material, also not as cool as the other one, but also a cool material. All right, got a pair of jeans. These are relatively, nah, these aren't recent. I didn't buy these recently. The ones behind it I bought recently. These are some pretty old ones, I think. But um, uh, just real thick. I like these because they were thick. Ralph Lauren. I did like this um, red contrast to the white. I have a white shirt that has, a white dress shirt that has red and I used to kill that combination. It has uh, red stitching in the buttons of a white shirt. And has some really nice texture going on. Classic 867. Don't know what that means. Some of these polo heads, low lifes, would probably be able to tell you. I haven't got a clue. I never really was into polo like that. Even though it seems like I might have a lot of polo items. I just buy things when I think they're nice. Um, not really pursuing anyone in particular. I never really thought of polo as that brand of really, really nice. Like, but... Like I said, when I started seeing all of this push for people to get with polo, um, I had to think about it, scratch my head and say, well, I do have a lot of polo pieces. So let me um, shoot out a video like some of these people that I've seen do. do. Um, this is a very recent purchase. Probably, yeah, this is definitely my newest purchase of polo. And I just like the color. It's just off-white, um, little blue, almost a little green. Really looks good in, uh, I think, beach settings. And it's a uh, stretch material very stretchy extremely comfortable so they'd use the right amount of stretch on that one it's always hard to um focus on a black pair of anything shoes pants or anything else but um this one is the least worn item i have of polo they were just too tight they might actually fit me now but they this it felt feels like uh oil i'm not sure what that material was very thick jean material and uh, as you can see slim so yeah it's very very tight they mean it when they say slim <laughs> so i don't know if i didn't try these on in the store or what but um i've probably worn these two times in eight years maybe five years so also attention to detail they got the rl button on there i mean the uh, zipper i always like that little detail and they've got the rl on the back and let's see here oily they feel wet and they feel like they got oil on them they're eight years old 
they are not wet, but it's just a real cool feel because it's so thick. Uh, I did like this feature when I actually squeezed into these. It's actually not just for looks. Very thick, but very uh, springy. It actually works as intended. It's, anytime someone does something that actually does what you what it looks like it does, then I'm all for that. Very hardy, chunky button. I mean, uh, zipper. Also, RL on it. And um, that's about it for these jeans. Cool pair of jeans. Very, very heavy jeans. Very, very oily feeling jeans. Let's move over to the shirts. We almost done. Um, like I said, I do do yellow. So there's a yellow shirt. Um, again, with the RL, you got the nylon use here. Way less than I'm used to seeing on there. Uh, garments, but that nylon does work. It does keep you from having like droopy. Um, I mean, uh, this stuff from being damaged by the buttons. Give it a quick look at the button. Also, our Alex. It's like Mother of Pearl, but it's not. But it looks like Mother of Pearl. I always like shirts that do that uh, because I don't tuck in my shirts. I know now you got a tuck it brand, but I don't. I've been doing that since a long, long, long time ago. All right, here's a relatively old garment, Polo Ralph Lauren, made in Mexico, oh, made in Macau. Um, just a, a white blazer, probably needs to be dry cleaned again. Um, material, 100% polyester. So, kind of has a similar touch to those original pants that I talked about but no not not exactly very very bizarre feel on those pants very hard to duplicate that or you know without using the same exact uh, material okay this polo bear was one I was looking for to match that DT I mean uh, district 8 8th district um, bear that I have so I walked into a polo store and I uh, saw this was like 50 bucks I think the guy um, I complained about it being uh, pretty raggedy looking. I mean, I could tell it was a return. There's a uh, RL emblem on it. But um, it was the bear, and I was looking for the bear. I said, I'll take it. Actually, I think they dropped the price to 50 once I complained about it. Because I was like, uh, this is clearly a return item. <laughs> but uh, 3XL should fit me great. With room to spare, that means I can wash it without worrying about it shrinking. Because if it shrinks, it'll be my size. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren Blake. I don't know what that is. Very, very old, old, old um, white shirt from Polo. Relatively thick. This is my favorite sweater out of all of my sweaters. And it just so happened to be Polo. So I'm like, okay, man, I need to make a video. Because I do have some Polo that I actually really, really like. This thing... I don't use a hanger for it except for this video. This thing is probably about 20 pounds. <laughs> and that's not an exaggeration. It is enormously heavy. You can see it's hand knit. Um, let's see, does it tell you what it is? Of Italian, made in China of Italian yarn. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yarn of, let's see if we go, look at that. It's clearly, clearly knit together. <laughs> it does not, actually, I'll take this hanger off. Kind of too, too heavy for that hanger. It's an extremely heavy garment. Very well made. Very intentional. You can see the wool, which is what I'm pretty sure this was, wool. Try to go through here and I know there is a tag somewhere. Oh, there we go. So this is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. And that thing is a monster. And it feels soft. I guess you get that from the cashmere. It's extremely heavy. You can weight lift with this thing. Very big garment. I'm 6'4 and it's probably more accurately described as a 3x but um just a beautiful garment now i got some of that wool on you sorry about that 
This is also RLX. Oh, no, not RLX, just RL. And this one, the cool feature about this one is the uh, shoulders. Then you have the nylon down there. But the shoulders is pretty cool with this thing. Also one that I don't keep on a hanger. <laughs> Typically this is kept folded. And um, you've got the side zipper. So I found that to be pretty cool. And of course you got the RL on the, uh, with the chrome or nickel or platinum white gold. I don't know what they're using, but it doesn't actually, uh, very old garment. And you couldn't tell by looking at the metals. It's got the uh, shoulder, I mean, I'm sorry, elbow protection, nylon right there on both of the elbows. Just a cool garment. This was one that I thought was really, really, I think this was called Black Label. And eventually they came out with Purple Label. And um, this is dry clean only. This one is, I don't see a, what this made out of, but either way. Um, then we go to the linen. I'm a real big fan of linen, and it's a cool uh, fabric to keep mosquitoes off of you um, and stay cool in hot temperatures. So just a basic linen shirt. Here's another one that fades into darker green. I do a lot of linen shirts. Polo Ralph Lauren 3X. This is a recent purchase. I, I picked this one up. That's Polo Ralph Lauren Classic Fit because I see a lot of cats wearing these polos with big white dudes on their chest and I can't do it as a brother. <laughs> I can't put the white dude on my chest and walk around town with it. So this is the closest that I came to. Uh, uh, one, I like the color scheme. Uh, a lot of red, black, and green in there. I'm, uh, it's kind of my favorite trilogy of colors. And the 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 cowboys on this one and cowgirls, um, if anything, they're Mexicans. Because <laughs> they got brown, you know, they like they all have brown skin, you know. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I can actually work with this one, Polo. But that's the closest I can get to uh, having, uh, you know, uh, if I'm going to put somebody on my chest, it's going to be me or a brother on there <laughs> or a sister. Um, but I can't put no white dudes on my chest. Um, Polo's got to do better with that because I, I saw a, um, I saw a uh, Polo track and field shirt it didn't have no brothers on it i'm like you supposed to be usa polo track and field and you don't have one brother on that shirt he's got athletes left right and center so polos clearly intentionally keeping brothers off their clothes which is fine you can do that that's a choice but uh i see the brothers in the advertisement so i'm i appreciate you know the work there but uh if there's going to be some people on my clothes, it's going to have to be a brother. So I'm not going to be able to do that with the polo. I'll just stick to having well-made garments until they uh, put a brother on them. <laughs> All right. So this is the last piece. Made it through. And this one is uh, Ralph Lauren Performance Flannel. That's very important because this shirt is often duplicated with respect to the look but when I touch a lot of these shirts, I'm like, no, that's not the shirt that I bought. This is like really, really soft material. And I imagine that performance flannel has a lot to do with it. Not sure. 70% cotton and 30% polyester. That must be the secret combination because this feels like a soft, very, very soft um, material. Doesn't really feel like cotton to me, but it feels just like a soft, thick material, but not so thick that you'd be instantly hot when you put it on. So just a real perfect garment for me. All right, y'all, we made it through in under 30 minutes. Uh, thanks for rolling with your boy. This has been my polo collection, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching another uh, video episode of Watch and Shoes the polo collection edition